Hello and welcome to my graduate professional internship class. I'm Mr. Ivey, and in this video, I want to give you a brief introduction to this course and what to expect over this next semester. First off, you've already logged into our class Canvas page. The first thing you need to do is to download a copy of our syllabus, addendum, and computer use policy, and you can find this and other resources under the Miscellaneous Student Resources link at the bottom of the page. Under this particular module, here's where you can find our syllabus, the addendum, and also the computer use policy. Now when you download these, these are yours to keep. You do not have to sign and return them to me at any time. Going back to our main page, the next thing to have a look at is our course Frequently Asked Questions. On this page, it'll give you a brief overview of some of the most common things to expect for this particular class. So really briefly, let me go over some of the highlights of it. First off, this class is going to be completely online. At no time are we ever going to meet on campus or in a classroom to discuss any of the assignments or the work that you're doing. Everything should be findable on our class Canvas page. The pacing of this class is going to be that of an independent study. This simply means that since every student has their own individual work schedules, I'll work with you on when to turn in and what to turn in for each of your assignments. Now you're going to be required to work 160 hours of internship work over the next couple of weeks. During this time, you need to keep track of your hours through a time log and also the kind of work that you do through a journal. And in a few minutes, I'll tell you exactly how I want both of those set up and to turn them in. There is no textbook for this class. And if you do need access to a computer lab, I can give you access to our on-campus Avon Mac Lab to complete any of the assignments as well as work on assignments for your internship. Now, you are responsible for having access to some sort of computer and software, either as a desktop or a laptop, though I do have some students who can complete the assignments using a tablet. Your computer needs to have the appropriate software to be able to open and run the assignments that I give you, as well as any assignments that your internship may give you as well. I'm going to give you some documents that are in the form of a Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint document. Now, if you don't have access to any of these Microsoft documents, Google has the equivalency online that you do have access to. These are in the form of Docs, Sheets, or Google Slides. Also, you should be able to open up PDFs and format them, uh, and you can download a free Adobe Acrobat Reader to be able to read those. Finally, do make sure to back up any work that you have, and be sure you have access to some sort of digital camera, such as your cell phone, and if you need to be able to submit documents to me, you can do so through printing them and scanning them through a flat, flatbed scanner. Finally, you're going to be responsible for setting aside enough time to complete any of your assignments. And if you have any problems completing these assignments, something that comes up that hinders you from stopping or stopping you from doing it, you're responsible for alerting me as soon as possible. If you have some sort of learning disability or I need to make accommodations for you, make sure you've contacted the Office of Student Counseling and Disability Services where they can write you a formal letter and please send that letter to me so that I can make accommodations for you in a timely manner. Now, you are responsible for also backing up your work and making sure that your computer is uh, workable as well. It's not uh, a reasonable excuse to miss any kind of assignments simply because your computer crashed or you've lost a file. Going back to my home page now, let's talk a little bit about the portfolio requirements and the things that you will turn in for these assignments. When you click on portfolio, this will take you to this module where you see three different things that you're going to turn in for me. There's an internship agreement form, your time logs, and also your internship journal. You can find each of these three forms underneath the student resources above. So for instance, the first one is the internship agreement form. This is form number one. When you download it, I'm giving it to you as a Microsoft Word document, but again, you can open this up in any word processor, including Google Docs. This form needs to be returned to me as soon as possible and as soon as you start your internship. 
This will simply tell me who you are, the company you're working for, and roughly the beginning and ending dates for your internship. And if you don't know these, it's okay to estimate it. This needs to be approved by both me and the department chair, so getting it to me as soon as you have your internship is the best thing to do. The second thing you're going to turn in are your time logs. Now these time logs I'm giving to you as form number two. This will explain that you need to work 160 hours and keep track of your work. And if you scroll down to the next couple of page, it'll show you the date, allow you to keep track of the hours, and a brief description of what you did that day. Now if you're working at an internship that already logs all of your hours, feel free to use those. As long as you can submit a copy of everything you do by the end of the semester, I'm okay with that. Or if you want to design and use your own time logs, I'm okay with that as well. As long as you can submit and show me your time logs by the end of the semester, that's what I'm looking for. The final thing you're going to turn in is an internship journal. Now this journal I'm giving to you as a Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, you can open this up in any kind of slide editor, including Google Sheets, excuse me, Google uh, Slides. This particular um, PowerPoint is a template that I want you to follow. You can give me your job name, your name, and semester that you're working. On the next slide, give me a brief overview. Show me a picture of your business or your workspace where you worked. Tell me where you worked and the location if you worked in a specific department or area, and who your boss or supervisor was. Now on the next page, this is where I want you to tell me the kinds of things that you did while you worked at your internship. These can be any kind of tasks that were assigned to you. They can be menial or uh, really super. So it could be something as simple as you made coffee and copies and uh, ran and picked up things for people. Or it could be something extraordinary, like you had to design something, or you were responsible for managing uh, online content. Anything that you did as an intern or during your job, um, job tasks. Feel free to make a copy of this particular slide if you need to add on more information and more tasks. On the next page, tell me how did you find your job and how did you come about starting work there? If somebody wanted to do this kind of job, what would they need to do to be able to get your position? And on the last one, tell me some things that you learned this semester. Now this is different from the type of task that you did. In other words, I want to know, is there something that you had to learn while on the job that you didn't necessarily get to do while you were in class? Here you can tell me the things that you learned and briefly describe those challenges and how you overcame them. As with the other ones, feel free to make copies of this slide if you need more room. The final thing you're going to show is your portfolio of all the different things that you did or created while at your internship. Feel free to make copies of this slide, but everything should have some sort of project title. You can give photographs or pictures or screenshots of the things that you worked on. And in this box, give me a brief description of the project that you worked on. Now if you don't have any photographs or you did a task that wasn't very visual, simply give me a good description of the kind of work that you did. And again, show me all the work that you did while you worked over 160 hours of your internship time. Now when you're finished with this and all of the things that you've done, you can save it as a uh, PowerPoint or a slide or as a PDF file. Once you finish them, you can go to the Class Canvas page and here's where you can upload and submit any of the files that you have. So these three things will constitute your portfolio grade for this particular um, semester. The final form to pay attention to is your uh, form number three, the Graduate Internship Supervisor Evaluation. This supervisor evaluation simply allows your supervisor or boss to give me any kind of feedback that you did while you did your internship. If you scroll down through it, the second page gives them a brief letter that tells what we're looking for. And the final page is the feedback form. Now you don't have to submit this to me by the end of the semester. Many people choose to turn it in after the semester is over with, and they can either email it or they can uh, send it through regular uh, snail mail 
as long as I get it to me, I can add it to your final portfolio. But this should be turned in once you finish your internship for the entire semester. Finally, returning back to our main page, the last thing to look at is our class tentative schedule. Again, since this is an independent study, there are no one particular due dates for everything, but there are some important dates to keep in mind. First off, you need to have secured your internship by the second week of this semester. If you don't have an internship by this time, I advise you to drop the class, simply because by this time you can get a 100% refund on your tuition for not taking this class. If you don't have an internship, then I don't suggest continuing on uh, past the second week. Now, if you've already started your internship, totally fine as well. Just make sure to turn in form number one, that agreement form, to me by this time. By midterm, you should be updating all of your time logs, and as well as it's okay to start on your portfolio as well. Finally, Everything needs to be due by the end of the semester. Your time logs, your portfolio, even your internship evaluations. If you want, you can turn these in before the end of the semester as well. So don't think it has to wait until the very end. Turn them in as you finish them up. So that's it for the basic overview of this class. I'm looking forward to seeing the work that you do this semester. If you have any problems or questions, please let me know as soon as possible. Best of luck to you.